never seen this before. Have you ever seen this? It looks like the Donkey Kong logo on the side there. <laughs> Well, today is a bit of an exciting day. I've got an audition for a TV commercial. Uh, I found an ad. This is the first time I've auditioned for anything in about between 15 and 20 years. Uh, the last uh, two things that I uh, did was 2001 and I think 2004 where uh, I did shoot a pilot for a TV show and um, it didn't get accepted by any networks. I uh, didn't get paid for that and in 2001 it was like three months of I uh, got accepted. Uh, I, was, um, I was cast as a druggie in this uh, TV series that was meant to be a split between Blue Healers, an Australian cop show, and uh, Baywatch, but then the 9-11 uh, thing happened after our three months of going through all the scripts of the first season before filming, and that got canned because of terrorism shit, and it was a lot of terrorism in that, uh, so that sucked. So I've been doing my own thing for the last uh, 15, 20 years, uh, doing YouTube videos on uh, numerous channels, and uh, that I've had and I was doing wrestling there for about five years as well which we did end up I uh, didn't audition for that but we just uh, the the company the small company got a um, TV deal but it only lasted for uh, four episodes before that was cancelled I am Mr. Bazzani the voice of wrestling and I cannot wait to watch the show tonight we're going all over Australia we have coming all the way from the US but the shark has been looking for Carlito all day long and he is not very happy. He's not happy, but he's going to have to wait just like the rest of us because right now we're going to kick off with some epic all-action wrestling. This is probably more of a vlog uh, while I'm going to my audition, but I'm going to do a thrift after it as well. Uh, some areas that I haven't been to yet because they're expensive areas. Yeah, I fucking, I, I don't know why, I just uh, started searching, um, seeing if anything was advertised for some reason, and uh, there was some, um, there was this TV ad, um, I don't know if I can say the uh, product or what company it's for, just in case I get it, but I was looking at all these people's um, profiles on there, they've got agents, they have immaculate photos, uh, really no chance in hell of um, getting a gig. And I wasn't interested in uh, auditioning for any of these short films that people are doing where it's no pay and it's just for their YouTube channels. This is actually for the TV networks um, where it's a nice payday for one day's work for a TV commercial which would get played. Kind of nervous about this but, um, but I'm not at the same time because I'm going to go thrifting afterwards. And we'll see how it goes but in the end... Um, I thought I'd uh, share some information because I was a bit, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, even if I don't get it, first uh, audition for a long time and um, long time, nearly 20 years, because uh, I've just been doing my own thing. But like I said, this is uh, why not? Why not film it? Let you guys know what I've been doing. I tried out. I applied for some other TV shows that were happening as well, uh, like a year ago, but got to the next round but I uh, didn't even get auditions for those ones and all that but uh, I'd like to do Survivor I'd like to do Survivor but anyway let's go to the audition and um, I'll see if I can sneakily uh, get some footage in there I doubt it very much but then we're gonna go I'll let you know how I go how bad it was or how good it was and um, hopefully I get it and then you get to see a uh, real stupid commercial um, on air watching your TV programs. I, I can't lie, I'm pretty nervous. But, we'll see how we go. We'll go. Alright, that is done. That is done. The TV ad audition is done. How did I go? I think I went pretty damn fucking good. I was the only bogan looking prick there. And there was just all these fucking pretty boy cats there. And at first I might have felt intimidated. But then I thought, 
I'm different to everyone else here. I could hear everyone else doing their lines in the other room and they're getting called up one by one. So they were just all being generic douchebags. If you get the fucking part, good on you. But uh, I'm hoping I get a call back. We'll see, but let's go for a thrift. Let's go, I need a piss. Let's go for a thrift, a quick one. We're just gonna do two stores. Let's see what we can get, something quick while we uh, do this video. Let's do it. So that was a decent little thrift. Uh, I got a few things. Let me quickly show you in the car what we got. First up, I picked up for five bucks this Wales uh, Under Armour rugby jersey. Rugby, bro. Uh, so it's a Wales one. Uh, I think it's a medium. Very nice imprints on it and all that. But um, yeah, this one looks like we'll go for about 50 bucks, maybe even 60. So we'll chuck uh, 50 bucks in the kitty for that one. I've been having heaps of luck this year with uh, football scarves. Doesn't matter if it's uh, waffle, uh, BFL, AFL, um, soccer. I've been having heaps of luck and getting great money. Great money. I've been picking up forty to fifty dollar uh, scarves for two dollars. Um, this is one of the original uh, Fremantle Dockers ones. This is like one of your picnic blankets um, style. Pick this up for $3. I'll get 30 bucks for that, so we'll chuck $30 in the kitty. I might get more, but we won't be greedy, and we'll just say 30 for the kitty. Found this Assassin's Creed uh, strategy guide book for $2, two bucks. Why the fuck not? Uh, only looks like I can get about 20 bucks plus postage on it, but 20 bucks is still better than a kick in the dick. I paid $7 for all these PlayStation 2 games with all their manuals in them. Seven bucks, they were 50 cents each in the DVDs. I fucking scored there. Seven dollars for 14. I'll quickly show you. Uh, I'm not gonna comp out every single one of these, but if I bundled them up, let's look at them first. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, probably a 10, 15 dollar game. GI Jockey, probably a five dollar game. F1, maybe five, ten dollars, who knows. Never seen this one, Raceway Drag and Stock Racing, maybe a twenty dollar game, I reckon. Sprint Cars, maybe a ten dollar game. Burnout 2, probably between 10 and 20 bucks, that one. This is without comping them all. Grand Theft Auto 3, probably a $20 game, this one still. Hunter games, maybe five, 10 bucks, someone will pay for that, I'm gonna lot it up. Another hunting game, five, ten dollars. CSI, five, ten dollars. Rugby 08, not even worth wiping my ass with, probably fucking two dollars. And another Formula One, probably five dollars. But then the two best ones were Tony Hawk Pro Skater, probably about a 30 to 40 dollar game right there. So I will sell that separate. And this nice tin cover with a $2 cash converters um, sticker on it, but uh, nice tin cover there for Raw vs Smackdown 2007. It's got the booklet and everything in there. It's pretty sick. I might have a little play with that one first, uh, but that should be with the tin cover of $30 game. Probably 20 bucks, but I'm gonna try for 30 plus postage, of course. Uh, so $14 for all these games, I reckon, with the ones that I lot up and then the single ones as well, I reckon about 150 bucks right there to go in the kitty. Um, I'm happy with that pickup, definitely a good pickup today. And my acting skills when I got to the counter, talk about a day of acting. Like, I love playing these old games, I don't sell them. And last but not least, I paid 
I paid $12.50 for this, but I had to because the design looks so good. Now, I'm not an emo. I don't like emo bands. I like heavy metal. Never seen this before. Have you ever seen this? It looks like the Donkey Kong logo on the side there. Um, Donkey Kong logo style with Pac-Man and um, a day to remember. Uh, there's Pac-Man is dead and all that and the ghosts are killing him, but um, a day to remember. Hopefully that's all in the camera shot there. Hoodie. Um, what's that say on the back? Keep running your mouth. Keep running your mouth, man. So a day to remember. That's in the shot. That's pretty fucking sick. I'm not sure the size, but I think it's a medium. That's a really nice jumper. It feels really fucking good too. $12.50, I had to give it a crack. I can't really find too much on uh, solds for even for this one at all. So I'm gonna try for 80 to 100 bucks, I reckon, on this one. Uh, but I'm gonna put in the kitty $60, because I reckon I'm not gonna take less than 60 bucks for this. Um, I definitely think it will uh, sell for 60. If you're an uh, old school emo and you know a day to remember, because I don't know this band, uh, let me know in the comments. So I spent $29.50, $29.50 on some scarves, some games, a book there, and whatever the fuck I just showed you. $29.50, I went for an audition, I'm going for a TV ad, which is some big box for one day. Bring up the kitty, come on! Kitty, now, kitty, you're gonna be a good luck kitty. We just did two quick stores. We spent $29.50 before fees and taxes were in the car. We've got the pussy in the car. How much are we going to make? Ya? Woof. Woof. $310 before fees and taxes. If it all sells, it will sell. Of course it will all sell. It always sells. And I always undercut myself and underprice myself because a lot of the stuff has always been going for more than what I say. Fuck off, kitty. Fuck off. Uh, that's it guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, fingers crossed I get this gig, and if I don't, doesn't really matter. Uh, one of those dickless cunts that fucking went in there uh, are gonna end up uh, getting it. But, unless I've impressed the shit out of them, who knows, uh, I don't know how it all works, but uh, I gave it a crack. Uh, but give me a thumbs up, but give me a thumbs up for good luck, good luck thumbs up. And uh, all my trolls and haters, just give me a thumbs down because you still live at home with your parents and you hate your life and you've got nothing better to do than just watch 10 seconds of someone's video and give it a thumbs down and then you disappear, but you still gave me a view. Thanks so much for watching the people that do watch all the way through. I'll see you next thrift. See you!